एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ अंकिता एंड आई हैव ऑल इंडिया रैंक सिक्स एंड आई सी आर जे एफ एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम पैन सेंसिस ग्रुप आई कंप्लीटेड माय बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी पन्नगर सो थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शेयरिंग माई प्रिपेशन स्ट्रेटीज फॉर ऑल द अपकमिंग जे आर एफ एक्सपीरियंस वो बेसिकली टारगेटिंग फॉर प्लान साइंसिस ग्रुप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू से दैट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू प्रिपेरेशन प्लीज गो थ्रू द सिलेबस एंड ऑल्सो एनालाइज प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द पैटर्न एंड डिमांड ऑफ एग्जाम वेरी क्लियरली now in that syllabus you will find out that you have to cover five major subjects in this uh, plant science discipline that is uh, plant breeding genetics seed science and technology microbiology and plant pathology other than that you also need to cover uh, economic botany crop physiology and germ free agriculture as well now uh, i like to mention the list of book that i had followed during my preparation so for genetics i referred the fundamentals of genetics by bd singh and also genetics made easy now from bd singh you need not to cover the entire syllabus because uh, uh, for uh, molecular genetics and the uh, nature of gene action i had completed it from uh, uh, genetics made easy only because in bd singh uh, the information given there is quite lengthy and also uh, not relevant much of it is not relevant from exam point of view other than those uh, topics you need to cover entire bd singh very thoroughly and read it line by line also try to uh solve or focus upon the numerical aspects because there are high probability that question might be asked from this topic on numericals every year plant breeding i read principles and methods of plant breeding by bd singh and uh, reading this book helped me understand the uh, the concepts very comprehensively uh now for stress breeding portion i'd uh, recommend that if you are having enough time in your hand then you can cover it from bd singh other than that you can also cover it from fundan singh if you are not having much of the time then uh while reading this book that is a uh, bd singh you might find little difficulty in understanding few chapters in a single go uh, like uh, biomedical techniques or molecular markers but it's my sincere suggestion do not skip those chapters uh, try to read it multiple times try to make notes lists of uh, scientists or table of differences uh, and revise it uh, daily or on an alternate basis so that you will be able to cover those chapters also now for both breeding and genetics uh, for solving objectives i had referred uh, objective book by b d singh and b k prasad so try to solve those questions uh, chapter wise questions uh, once you have completed the chapter simultaneously uh, now for plant pathology uh, i had referred uh, textbook of fungi bacteria and viruses by h c dube and also angrio notes for understanding the basic concepts other than that uh, for objective questions i have uh, solved utpal kumar bhattacharya book and also read uh, plant pathology and overview book by uh, sharma and kokar so uh, for plant pathology i'd say that the trend is quite shifting and the questions being asked are more unpredictable for example this year only i'd uh, like to say that for fungal classification part i had prepared it up to family level uh, which was supposed to be sufficient for exam point of view but the question that was asked this year was from a uh, tribe level so if you want to have an edge over other students and if you want to secure a good rank you need not only to rely upon the basic books you also need to have some uh, extra information uh, for which you can refer uh, kokar and sharma book for uh, seed technology i had referred the principles of seed tech by pk agrawal and uh, seed tech at a glance also so try to remember all the tables that are there given in the book and do not try to categorize any table as an unimportant one and skip them also focus upon major crops and try to remember all their seed related aspects be it isolation distance or purity percentage or storage temperature and uh, uh, also try to remember or revise it a day before examination because there are a lot of data to remember so you will uh, find it uh, quite easier if you uh, revise it a day before examination to recall all those data correctly during exam now for microbiology i read the only toro and kapoor book uh, first five and last five chapters which is uh, sufficient and uh, again focusing upon the tables uh, from food and industrial microbiology and uh, also um, try to cover the microscopic portion um, very uh, clearly crop physiology i had uh, uh, referred the ln modules and also took the help of youtube to uh, have a command over the uh, cycles and uh, all the processes now uh, for uh, 
uh, economic botany i had uh, referred to the notes that were provided by my seniors and that was sufficient enough now for general agriculture i would say that don't just rely upon uh, objective books or one liner books uh, try to extract one to two hours daily to read general agriculture from nimrat sunda or arun katyan book and uh, also try to stay updated with the current uh, uh, affairs related to general agriculture because uh, this year also you will find three to four questions had been asked from current affairs section of general agriculture now uh, talking about my preparation uh, i had started my preparation from third year onwards and then i had tried to be consistent with my studies uh, i'd also like to suggest that try to be more analytical and comprehensible while studying um because uh, uh, merely mugging up the facts won't help you in the examination uh, the pattern of examination is actually shifting and uh, the questions which are being asked are more statement based or uh, assertion reason based uh, sequential questions or chronological questions are being asked so the more you are stronger with your concept the more it will help you to perform well in examination also uh, try to make a group of 2 to 3 people or uh, students with whom you may discuss the questions and also ask uh, uh, questions uh, discuss chapters and clear the doubts this helped me a lot during my preparation uh, also don't just try to uh, don't just pile up the doubts that you are having in your mind try to solve it immediately uh, from any source be it your uh, senior be it uh, your friends or your uh professor also do revise as many as uh, as many times as you can because this will only help you to retain the things for longer time now practicing mock questions are must to analyze your weak uh, weak sections and also to rectify the mistakes with time so uh, i have also joined regalia mock test series for which i am very thankful to the entire team uh, as their mocks were uh, very systematic and uh, um they were based on the current pattern of examination and uh, they were providing quality questions uh they also tried to solve the doubt uh, at the same time whenever i had my doubts so for this i am very thankful uh, to the regalia team and uh, i hope that you find this video helpful uh, so thank you